In this episode, we're going to be learning about Python wheels. Python's first mainstream packaging format was the egg file, but now there's a new format in town called the wheel, or WHL format. The WHL is the extension, of course. According to the Python packaging index's description, a wheel is designed to contain all the files for a PEP376 compatible install in a way that is very close to the on-disk format. So in this, in this uh, video, we will learn how to create a wheel and then install our wheel in a virtual environment. So let's open up a terminal and we'll do a pip install, actually a sudo pip install. And we're going to pass it a flag upgrade and make sure that we have the latest pip. So it's actually kind of cool, you can upgrade pip by calling install upgrade and then pip. Okay, so we're already up to date. The reason we need to be up to date is that pip can work with wheels, and so we just want to make sure that we have the latest pip so that we can do that. So next, we want to call sudo pip install wheel, just in case we don't have it. In this case, I didn't have it, so I went ahead and installed it. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and use another package for creating our first, wheel, our first wheel. So I'm picking the unit decode package because it doesn't have a wheel already, at least when I last checked. And so we're just going to use that because I found it very handy for my own projects and it would be kind of cool to make it into a wheel. So let's go ahead and download that code. All right, so let's go ahead and get the unidecode project. So sudo pip install unidecode. Okay, it's installed. Now we just need to go ahead and tell it what to do. So let's go ahead and make a directory to store our stuff in. We'll call it my wheels. And then we'll do pip and tell that we want to create a wheel. And we'll tell it where to store the wheel. Equals my derms or my wheels, and then we'll tell it that we want to uh, turn the unit decode package that we just installed into a wheel. Alright, so it says it did something. Let's check and see what it did. Alright, so in my wheels we now have a wheel file. You can see the WHL. It's got the same name as the one that we downloaded. It's set to Python 2 because that's where we ran. And of course we don't have anything there. So now we need to learn how to actually install a wheel. So that's what we'll do next. Okay, so we just need to open up a terminal and create a, a virtual env to play with. So let's go ahead and do that. Virtual env. We'll just create a test folder. It's going to install setup tools, pip, and wheel for us, which is quite handy. Then we need a cdn to test. And as you may recall, we use source, bin, activate. So now we've activated our virtual environment. So now we can, if, if it hadn't already installed wheel, you'd have to do pip install wheel here as well. But it did, so we, we're pretty much good to go here. So now we can just do pip install the keyword use wheel, no index. And draw defined links. And the find links will give us a way to pass it a path so it knows where to look. So if we go to test, actually, we don't want to go to test, we're going to go to my wheels. Okay, and then we want it to install unidecode. So indoor, ignores indexes, basically doesn't go looking at, at the Python index. Instead, it grabs the wheel that we just created from in my wheels and uses that. And it looks like it successfully installed it. So if we take Python here, we should be able to import unidecode. And we can. So now we've learned how to install a Python wheel. At this point, you should be able to create your own wheels and even basically create your own local uh, repository dependencies, which is what I did with that My Wheels folder 
that's kind of a local repository that I created. And that's why I would make all my wheels, basically. And now that you know how to create both of those, you can also, you also know how to install a Python wheel. So go ahead and go on uh, the Python package index and see if you find some other packages that don't have wheels yet. Or if you just want to do it for fun, you can just take any package, whether it has a wheel or not, and download its tarball and just make your own wheel. It's actually a lot of fun to just experiment and see what you can do. So have fun doing that. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.